Hey, hey, welcome to How to Grow a Garden. I am sorry, I know it has been ridiculously long. I was just watching my last video. I thought maybe I would check it and see what where I left off. It's four months ago. What was I thinking? Well, summer has come and gone. Uh, you kind of missed it. But really, guys, you didn't miss very much because <laughs> although it was beautiful and really, really hot, it was so much work. So I didn't want to show you anything. Um, I didn't do a lot of gardening. In fact, I think I did no gardening at all. We renovated the house just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, if you might notice in the last video, there was a porch, that whole beautiful part with the new siding that matches the old siding and all those windows in the door. That's an enclosed porch. Um, and I wanted to take a moment to show you what the yard looks like. Now, little Bella got much bigger. Um, I moved uh, the fire pit. It used to be way over here, right in front of the house. I'll give you a wrap around so you guys can see what that looks like. We cleaned up just a few days ago. We did a major cleanup and we took a whole bunch of stuff away um, to recycling. And this is what we were left with. Now, not all of this garbage, not all of this wood is going to be um, burned. It's more just kind of resting there. It's the junk wood, but we might use it for all kinds of fun things like building little nest boxes for chickens or something. And then over here, of course, we have this year upcoming our new pile of wood, lots of it. I will be ordering more because I don't think that's enough. And um, the rest of the wood that is good for being used uh, in spring, I'm gonna cover that, is right there. But let me walk around and show you. Bo built some chairs. The wheelbarrow is still in the same spot. It's moved many, many, many times, but it is there. Um, it's beautiful. Everything looks great. It's clean. Look at this. There's garbage. It's all gone. Okay, the very last video I was talking about, I was talking about the garbage right here along this edge. All that wood and, and muck and yuck and crap. Um, we've got a turkey. This is Tom Tom. Tom Tom. Tom Tom is adorable. He'll sit on my lap. Um, if I sit down, but he randomly likes to bite at things like he thinks there's um, You know a little thread or something. He doesn't want it there. So he'll bite. It's very painful So I try not to pick him up or try not to let him jump in my lap And I rehomed some of my birds and I got new birds and I hatched a bunch of birds and a lot of chicken stuff So this is a lovely little brooder. It's got a little fence around it. It's not staying here for long This is really just for the spring Bo is still working on building that coop and when I say working on building the coop, I mean I'm working on getting Bo to build the coop. <laughs> He's um he would prefer if I could forget about building the coop, I'm sure. So if we come this way, let's see, the wood pile is behind us and we've got the brooder. That large piece of wood is to put over top of the brooder when it rains so they have a little more shelter. But when we build the new one, it'll all have, it'll have an, um, a run. Down here, got a lovely path. And it's beautiful, now it's fall, so this is the perfect time. I should really do a video maybe in a few weeks when um, when the leaves are, are red, they're just starting to turn and they're gorgeous. But if I go down this path, two or possibly three videos ago, four months ago, um, I was talking about cleaning up behind the house and I wasn't sure what I was gonna use that, that area for, what I was gonna do. We were gonna talk, we were talking about building a goat barn. Let's see if my little goats follow us. So, here we go, this is behind the house. We still got a lot of work to do. This is the shower. And there's a little porch off the shower and it's got um, um, a towel hanging up there so you can step out and dry off if you want to. It's absolutely awesome. The bedroom is at the end of the house. Or, well, actually half of the house is a bedroom. So this area is now enclosed. My mother came over a few days ago and helped me. We actually built a smaller run and then we extended it to be much, much bigger. The only problem is they figured out how to get out and I'm not entirely sure where they're getting out but have no fear by the next video I will have that solved so what I want to show you of course I'm going the wrong way is way down here we built a goat house so let me go the other way I'm gonna turn this around so you can see
whole bunch of windows. Here we have one little gate, and <laughs> this is um, this is a little platform. It's actually the piece that came out where that window went in that door. So down here. We still have the soft garage. I'm still working on moving that. I have an idea. I think I'm going to completely get rid of it um, and or donate it to something and remove it and put everything into a storage shed. So this is the new goat barn. It's really big. It is exactly um, to the max of what we are legally allowed to build without any major permits. Uh, it's built on sonotubes. It's got this nice big overhang, so they have a little porch area. Two doors, of course, to do the Dutch door or the chit-chat door style. Um, so we can close the top and leave the bottom open so they can come and go as much as they need to. And of course, the overhang means that they have rain protection. So the goats have moved out of the house. They live outside and it is wonderful. And I want to take a moment to come over here to the front of the house because this is all different too. I'll turn around so you guys can see behind me. We built some stairs and a little awning, which is kind of more like, what will it be? Yeah, I guess an awning or an arbor. Right now it doesn't have a roof and I haven't finished painting the whole thing. And this is my kitchen garden. Since this is a gardening channel, look, I did do a little bit of gardening this year. How exciting. We've got a whole bunch of zucchinis growing in this bed. It looks a little wild, but it's all very much on purpose. This is, uh, this is some nettles. I actually planted nettles into my kitchen garden. I want to harvest the seeds. I've also got uh, some lamb's quarters growing. Do you know that you can eat lamb's quarters uh, leaves in spring. They're really good. They're actually not that bad now, but they're really good in spring. So I planted lamb's quarters into my kitchen garden. <laughs> Most people would think lamb's quarters and nettles are total weeds, but nettles makes the most amazing tea and it's fantastic for you. It has more vitamins and minerals and uh, general nutrition than, um, than spinach. And lamb's quarters is the same thing. It's also really wonderful. So this is the second bed. And it's doing really well. Um, it's got a little bit of blight going on up here, but that could just be dieback. But it's doing really well. I've got some squash see right in the middle. A couple of squash coming up. Got some chives and mint and tarragon and um, lots and lots of herbs. Some rosemary. I'm planning on cutting some of these, cutting them back and taking them inside and doing some drying but it's not too cold. It's 18 today. A little chilly. I'm cautious about my neck because it always seizes up if it gets cold. So I have a scarf on, but it's not too bad. Um, the tomatoes are finally turning red. We've had a really, well, you know what? I think I have had a really late season when it comes to tomatoes because I have my suspicion that the chipmunks have been running away with all my tomatoes. I did watch them once. He went down there and he twisted it off and ate it. He took another one, twisted it off, and ran away. I thought that was hilarious. So this is our little awning <clears throat> right out in the front. Uh, definitely not finished, but it's a huge change from what it was. It just had a tiny little uh, bump out here before where you could put some wood under. So what we're planning on doing, what I'm planning on doing, and Bo is going along with whatever I'm planning on doing, <laughs> is putting the wood at the front half or the far back side, right up against the house and covering that. Um, putting a roof of course on top and then down here putting perhaps some windows or something so that I can uh, enclose that as a little greenhouse or like a potting space greenhouse to start tomatoes and keep them a little warmer mostly so I can start them sooner or earlier in spring because this year um, this year I started things pretty late and you can see my tomatoes are growing and I did get them they did work it was all good but it would be nice if they were done a little earlier in the year. So the best way to do that is to start them, you know, in about February, March, especially for here. So they're already pretty big by the time I put them out and better to have them in a space that's really warm. So the ground is warm and Tom Tom keeps stepping on my foot. Look at this. There he is. Good old Tom Tom. Um, so over here, this used to be the front of the house. I know I didn't really show you the house before it was, 
it was just too much for me. I couldn't take the way it looks, so I didn't want to document it. So it's turned into something really cute. This is, was the front door um, onto the porch. Now it is just another side of the house, which would look into the window. But because it's covered, Bo is using it for his tools, which is really great. And behind me, turn around. Again, I really hope that I am not making you guys seasick every time I talk about this. Uh, behind me is a huge pile of wood. This is the new floor for the cottage. Um, I don't remember what kind of wood it is. I'd have to ask Bo. It's really not that important. It's a floor. It's a tongue and groove floor without a V, so it's gonna lie perfectly flat. I actually wanted really big boards, but everybody I talked to said, no, there's a reason why we don't do that anymore. You shouldn't do that. Those boards will move and they will, they'll warp and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but that's how they used to do it. And I love the way they used to do it. So they won, I lost. We got tongue and groove. It is completely wood all the way through though. I mean. It's not engineered wood. It's not like press wood or some version and then veneered on top. It is solid wood, which is something I would not uh, budge on. I did not want anything that was engineered. So the front, uh, well the back, this is the back, this is the back door. <laughs> there are a lot of doors in this house now. There's three doors. There's a, this, uh, the back patio door, the front patio door, and then there's a nice slider in the bathroom right in the shower. And I've got this all cleaned up. So, um, as soon as we finish building the chicken coop, these things will all go in to the shed to be stored. So it's all ready for winter. In that little box is some toys for my nieces and nephews when they come over. And right behind me, pretty much right here, is where, um, is where the old uh, uh, fire pit used to be. So by moving that, and I moved it way over here, here you can see there, um, we've really opened this space up. So now when you're inside and you look out, if I go right up to the house, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You've got all this beautiful space here. You've got the hill, the deer come up over the hill. They haven't been here in, for, uh, they haven't been here in a while, probably because we have goats and the goats make a little bit of noise, but I suspect they'll come back because there are deer everywhere. Um, yeah, I got rid of all the garbage, organized it and sent everything to recycling. Um, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with the way it's turned out. The house is not done. You can clearly see. Now, this is different, right? Last time you guys were looking, there was still insulation and that window didn't exist. The window hasn't been framed. Most of the new windows, except on this really new part, I was adamant that Bo finished this completely, but the other parts he worked on and then moved on to other things. So um, the framing of the windows aren't done. The front door doesn't have a frame yet. These things will come. They'll come. It's no problem. We got lots of time. Um, what else? Yeah, the all that wood that was in the middle, those tarps. Go back and watch that other tutorial if you're sh you're not sure what I'm talking about. But it's all gone. It's all cleaned up. I am so 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 happy. So the inside of our house. Let's see if Tom Tom's gonna try to follow me. Tom Tom, no. Out. Come on, buddy. Out you go. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Okay, and on the inside now. Ooh, careful, Tom Tom. Now, staying true to form, of course, I have chickens um, that are on the inside of our house, and you always need somewhere to put your chickens. So these are my little baby bantams. They can't go outside yet, and these are my ceramics. He's actually taking a bath down there. So Bo built me. That is not a cerema, but this little one, right there. Can you see him? Anyway, he is black. And, uh, and he's taking a bath, so it's very hard to see in the dark. But um, right now there's five little birds in here. And they will be, some of them will be staying in here for the winter and other ones will move into the new coop. They're just waiting until the time is right. You can see that the trim is not done yet, but a lot has changed in here too. We've put in, well the kitchen used to be on that side and it's moved to this side. Uh, the living room used to be on this side, which was horrible because it was really tiny. And I remember I told you that we enclosed the porch. Well, this is the space that we've gained, this beautiful big porch space in here. I have a loom and everything is right now just shoved up to one corner. This furniture, this is stuff that came from my mom we originally got here. So we haven't actually bought our new furniture. We have it on standby though, so we can tell them when we're ready, but there's no point in getting furniture until the floor goes in. Um, the 
that door is still moving and that wall is not done and the trimmer on the windows aren't done and yes and I have a loom back here <laughs> and in winter I'm hoping to start using it and to dress the loom and then I'll be working on that um, I also have a uh, a wheel a spinning wheel that will be here soon I have to go pick it up and and that's about that other than that I'm working really hard on my art channel so this month I'm trying to do a video every single day on my art channel which is a lot of work and actually I would sat down and just started to do one and I thought you know I wonder what's going on in the garden channel and I watched the tutorial and I thought it's the perfect time I keep thinking about it I'm gonna go out and do a video I'm gonna come back and tell you guys all about the things that have changed document it so that you know in a few weeks when I get back into actually doing videos uh, for how to go garden um, I can um, I can have this as a documented part right like that's really the only reason why I'm showing you where we are and what's happening because I feel like it's it's pretty significant I'm also really happy about that bookshelf I have a few bookshelves in the bedroom which I will not show you but <laughs> um, but I don't have enough space for all my books so this means that a whole bunch of books can go in here and that's really awesome because I am a huge collector of books I love to read um, and back here behind me we have this is a tiny house if you haven't noticed it's very small we have a little fridge Bo is working today actually he took everything down so today he'll be doing close the door to the pantry um, Bo will be pulling out the fridge raising the fridge putting a nice shelf underneath and um, putting drywall on the back and filling that all in and then this is the last little space and of course everything here needs trim but that's the last little space is gonna have a few shelves I think the instant pot will go up there and a shelf for some bowls and it'll all be organized and sealed in on the back side there's a few other things going on and down underneath here which is hard to see and of course the floor is the old floor because the new floor is still outside remember um, down underneath the fridge on the other side in the bedroom is where my washer and dryer is that's a washer dryer combo so that took up you know that that just made such a difference because all that extra space that was taken up by the washer dryer is now gone yeah so everything is being custom designed very much so as we go of course there's a tv in the living room it wasn't always a tv in the living room but i felt like it would be nice to have a tv in the living room there's also one in the bedroom but again i won't show you the bedroom until it really is perfect and finished thanks for watching i'm scarlet i hope you enjoyed this update and um and I hope it didn't make you too seasick with all my wiggling. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo!